everybody, welcome back to Don't Starve DMARC here with Hardcore Casual Gamer. Alright, just want to pause the video here for just a second. So, in case you have not been watching my uh, similarly released Aquaria videos around this same time, um, I had Monday off, uh, so took the entire day and did some power recording. Um, decided to go through and record five episodes of Aquaria and five episodes of Don't Starve. Roughly the equivalent of five plus hours of gameplay. Um, anyway, went through and did that, went through the process of opening up my files to go through and edit them at that point, and realized that I have video, I have commentary, but I have no in-game audio for either of the games. Just five hours of footage down the drain, gone. Um, <laughs> it was pretty horrible. And then today I spent some time recording, lost another hour and a half due to my Don't Starve save not actually saving. But, whatever. I, I, I have a backup. Life is happy. I'm okay. <laughs> Rage! Okay. Alright, welcome back to Don't Starve. So, um, I'm going to do things a little bit differently, differently than I had planned when you uh, watched um, the end of my last video. Um... I'm going to tidy up here at base camp as quickly as I can, because um, we're going to head down here. We're going to try to get our bees ASAP. In addition to the bees, uh, we want to come down here into our marshy swampland. There's actually a huge, huge marsh down here. Um, and we're going to pick up some reeds, because those reeds will allow us to make some papyrus, and in turn, allow us to make some... Uh, not some, but allow us to make a, a bird cage. Um, and from the bird cage, we can do some stuff. Anyway, without further ado, let's get to it. All right. Um, See, so yeah, I want to do a couple things here first. Where's my gold? Oh, I have my gold on. Okay, so food. We need planks for that, so let's refine some planks. This is something I've been meaning to make, but admittedly completely forgot to earlier. This is an icebox. Effectively, a refrigerator. So we're going to take all of our foodstuffs here. Unfortunately, this turned into rot. We're just going to drop this over here because we don't need to hold on to it. Or take up inventory space. And let's put our foodstuff in there. It will keep a heck of a lot longer uh, than it would in a normal box. Um, I also want to kill this thing. These things just keep on spawning. And if left to their own devices, we'll start spawning those little eyeball things, and I don't want that. I also mentioned I wasn't going to harvest the bee box until I get a beekeeper hat. Screw that. You just have to run. <laughs> this is not the, the best approach to deal with bees, but this is what I'm going to do until I get a, a beekeeper hat. So that got us some, uh, some honey. Let's just pick up our few spare traps here. As much as I love the fact that these rabbits just get trapped so frequently, unfortunately, they they tend to take up a lot of just management time. All right. So I put monster meat in there with honey and two morsels. That is going to cook us up some honey ham, which is super, super helpful. It's great on, on uh, hunger. It's great on health. And I think it actually helps out our sanity a decent amount as well. Um, I'm actually going to martelize a couple more of these guys. Because once this is done cooking, I want to... Um, yeah, I want to make another one. Oh, we actually have another one of these guys. Is it in here? Yes, there it is. Okay, we have some silk. So in preparation for... Okay, let's do this real quick. No, we already have two. Down, down. Let's go ahead and eat this. Uh, only does five sanity, but still, a heck of a lot of hunger and a heck of a lot of health. Um, 
yeah, very useful. So if you heard that noise, those were our crops down here popping, and yes, we have dragon fruit. That is exactly what I am looking for. Um, I'm going to plant these two in just a moment once the others pop so they can all pop at the same time in the future. Um, anyway, that dragon fruit, once we catch a bird in our new bird trap, we can put the bird in a bird cage and then proceed to feed it um, a dragon fruit. What that does is it will allow that bird to continually to poop out dragon fruit seeds, and it will, um, those will allow us to plant nothing but dragon fruit. Alright, so I want to get as much honey ham as we can get prior to that monster meat going bad. So you see, we already have a bird. Those guys just love being baited by those seeds. Um, yeah, they just do it so quickly. Alright, so our sticks are growing back. Um, our grass is growing back. I'm not going to harvest it yet. Again, like our our crops here, I'm going to wait until they're all, all done and harvest them all at once. That way they grow back all at once, and it makes it a lot easier than having to uh, kind of pick and choose. Alright, we have another trap. Uh, we are low on grass. Is there any grass around we can pick real quick to make that extra trap? Actually, no. Let's uh, let's actually pick this up and just move it closer to our base. That one's a bit far away. Sure, it's handy to have some extra rabbits, but we've got, I would say, quite a few already right down here. All right, pick that. Last monster meat. Cook that up. All right, so we got our butterfly nets. Let's actually swap that out. We've got a log suit. We've got some meat. Let's put our webbing away. We don't need that quite yet. Um, yeah, we definitely need quite a few sticks, and we need some more grass. Pine cones, we don't need you right now. Let's just set you down here. So yeah, come tomorrow morning. Oh, hey, grass is coming back. Sweet. Um, come tomorrow morning. Yeah, we're heading out. It's likely going to be a couple day journey, so I'm going to stock up. We've got two honey hams on us that'll last us a decent while. Um, maybe, hopefully the jerky will be done by the morning. We're going to get our bees and again head down here and pick up some reeds. Alright, what can we do in the interim here? Harvest honey ham, why not? Alright, let's put this with our other seeds. Yeah, that'll definitely keep us good for a while. I wish you could split up stacks, can you? No, you can't. Oh well. Oh, there's our knight. Poop, Wilson, poop! There we go. Alright, um... Let's actually... Pick up a couple of these stacks while we're waiting. Let's go ahead and just uh, refine some boards. I think I want to make two more boxes. There we go. And structures. Two more chests, that is. Because these rabbits keep coming in fast, and I want to make sure we have ample space for them. Because those act, as I mentioned, effectively just like fridges when they are not um, in morsel form. So those will just keep forever. Alright, got a decent amount of stuff. Uh, we're going to start to get a lot more honey here. Ah, perfect. Okay, so our jerky is done. Let's get that guy. Get that guy. Dry and dry. Okay. So I don't think we need that jerky, because we've got our honey ham with us. Um, we got two nets. 
Alright, let's get to it, guys. We've got plenty of wood on us, probably more than we need. Actually, that's a good thing. I'm just gonna drop this for when we come back. We can pick that up instead of backtracking and leaving it at our home. But extra poops are always useful. We do, however, need more grass because we need grass in order to make a campfire. And I can guarantee you we are going to be out here for more than a day. should be fine. Alright, bees. You have met your match. So, my goal here is to get 12 bees. I think 6 butterflies. And then attack and destroy three beehives. Because that will give us enough, um, enough to make three additional bee boxes and just get loaded up with honey. Of course, I can't seem to find any bees when I want them. Got a few. There's one. Okay. So every time you catch a bee, it aggros the nest that that bee comes from. And again, me not having yet, we just aggroed the other one. Me not having a beekeeper suit or beekeeper hat. Um, I'm not exactly looking forward to attacking them head on. Once we have our bees, we unfortunately will have to, though. Oh, I didn't want to pick the flowers, but... I suppose that works. Okay, more aggro. There's another one. I'm watching you. Okay. okay give them a wide berth. Nope. There's another one. Come here, buddy. I'm your friend. Alright, so we just killed one of our nets. Thankfully, they have to fly a good distance away from their nest um, when I'm that far out, and it seems to not aggro them quite as much. Or, they seem to lose aggro quicker. Catch. Go. Catch. Alright, we're at nine. We're doing pretty good, I'd say. Hopefully, I can get three more before evening falls. See if we can head down here and find some more. There's one. There's two. Perfect. Here's three. Catch. Excellent. Okay. One last butterfly for the road. Alright, our nets are done. So now our goal is to actually take on the hives. Once this stupid bee goes away. Okay. So. I know I'm asking for trouble here, but uh, there's unfortunately no other way. So I've got my log suit on. These guys don't do a terrible lot of damage. Even though they are swarming. Perfect. 102. 
72%, we're still doing fine. I think we can afford to take down two more here. Alright, up to this one here. Equip. Go for the eyes! Alright, you can do it, Wilson. Keep it up. Come here, keep it up. Perfect. Can we get this last one done before the night falls? Cutting it close, but I think we just might. Alright, come on. Go, go. Drop him fast, but you got some honey hand to back you up. Alright, kill before more spawn. And yeah, before nighttime. Excellent. Alright, I am pleased with that run. Where are we at? Okay. So again, just trying to save as much time as we can. And make our way... ...toward our swamp land over here. Night is falling. Let's plant this a bit away from the trees so we don't accidentally uh, set ourselves on fire. Alright. Down the hatch, Wilson. Perfect. Let's go ahead and eat our carrot here, get us a little bit more. Alright. So let's kind of put our bee stuff up here in our backpack. Uh, petals. I don't really need you here. You can go on the fire. Might as well pick some string, though, while we're waiting. And... do we have an axe on us? We do. You know? <laughs> I don't want to push my luck. I don't want a tree guardian to come, <laughs> come out in the middle of the night here. I've, I've done a bit too much... ...gambling... ...here. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna hold off. <laughs> Alright, our spear has seen better days. Let us, um, that's right, we need a rope. Let's make another spear as a backup. You don't need to be there. You guys can come over here. Alright, once that dies, I think this will automatically equip and take its place. Alright, where are we at? So we want to head down this road here and go in that direction. Come on, morning. There we go. There we go. Here comes the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Ooh. Okay, way too many goodies not to pass up. Oh, er, er. Tentacle. Go away. Run, Wilson. Okay. I had to get those. And frog legs. Okay. <laughs> A little bit dangerous, but uh, that's the name of the game, isn't it? Alright, down our path here. into the swamp. So the swamp area is probably the most dangerous of the biomes in this game. Have to be very careful so as to not upset those tentacles. And I'm being very, very mindful as to where I step. Um, because those things, they hurt. <laughs> they hurt quite a bit. Anyway, these are, again, reeds, if you couldn't tell. Um, this is what we need to make lots of different stuff in the game, but uh, currently our goal is to get this for the purposes of making papyrus paper. Um, 
Oop, tentacle right there. Nope, another tentacle. And once we have the papyrus and a bit more gold, we need to go out and do some uh, mining for that. We will then make that uh, bird cage. Which will allow us to harvest and farm dragon fruit. Oh, one more. Now, in order to make papyrus, you need to refine reeds. Oh, I hear you. There you are. I think the ratio is four reeds to one papyrus. I see you down there. Oh. God, they're everywhere. Crap. Crap. <laughs> Too close. I'm gonna head back toward the, uh, the road here. I think if you're on the road... Oh, run. The tentacles don't spawn. Oh, I'm completely off the road, aren't I? <laughs> well, we've got... Just pause to make sure nothing's around. Uh, we've got enough papyrus to do... Sorry, we have enough reeds to do the papyrus that we want for the birdcage. Er. But because I'm here... Nope, nope, nope. I want to get as much as possible. Because unless I am, like, super decked out, I don't like to travel these parts, if you couldn't tell. I'm being, like, very cautious. I see him right there. Can I do it? Yes, barely. Okay, making our way back home. Making our way back to you, babe. With some honey ham inside. Okay. It is probably very dark for you guys, and I apologize for that. But, um... Tis the nature of the swamp. Okay. We're out of the swamp. Now we're just in the dark forest that you probably can't see either. <laughs> Alright. We've got a totally normal tree. Um... I don't want to mine that yet. I've unearthed it on our map, though. So we can come back and get that if need be. But again, we have too much precious cargo in tow right now to, uh, to tempt fate. So I'm just going to collect a little bit on our way back home. And if you remember, we came down here and planted some crops, because we may have... Oh, we don't have any inventory space, do we? Um, what can I drop? Well, we can plant you. Okay. So, you see all those bubbles there? Those, every single one of those is a tentacle. There are tons of them. It's ridiculous how many are in there. Um, and they will just absolutely destroy us. Um, what can we get rid of? We can get rid of... You know, we can get rid of our spear. There we go. And we don't have any room for berries. Actually, we kind of do. In our face hole! 
Alright, let's head back home. We're not gonna make it there before dark. But you know what? In the interest of saving time, I think we are going to travel through the night tonight. Yeah. Head onto the road. There's night. Let's pull out our torch. Yes, Wilson, I know you're hungry. I know our sanity's dying and we can barely see anything. But we still want to keep on going. There we go. I hear our beefalo buddies. Where's the road? There's our road. Guys are so loud when they snore. <laughs> Almost home, Wilson. Here we go. Home sweet home. Actually, I don't think we even need to make a fire. Let's just uh, have our torch hold out. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> we almost had ourselves an accident there. That would not have been very pleasant. All right, monster meat, in the fridge, webbing, in the box, more in the fridge, there you go, frog legs, you, go over here, reeds, sitting there, spiky stuff goes with spiky stuff, we have more here though. All right, let's down ourselves a honey ham, mm, perfect. Toss this extra one back in the fridge. Oh, of course, there's no room. But, we can put that in there. Along with that. And a couple morsels here in a moment. down here. Nope, that's all of them. Okay, murder. Murder. Oh, there goes another one. Oh, that trap's dead. Alright, rabbit box. Let's start to fill you back up. Oh, we still need to get these going. Never mind, come back. Okay, let's pick up some seeds. Replant this here. Again, I am not picking that dragon fruit because I want to save it for once we get that birdcage going. Rabbits, I love how stupid you are, but, uh, yeah, you take a lot of time. Open the box. Thank you. There we go. Alright, let us make... We need to refine some of these. Two, three... Need another stack. Oh, we forgot to pick up that stack. Um, we'll do that later on. We'll be back over that direction at some point. Okay. Um, nope, more refining. Four. Five. Six. There's our precious bee boxes. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more right here. Make another one. Over here, just kind of keep them spread out a little bit. There we go. And then give these guys some more flowers. They were just wondering where to where to go. Sweet. 
Alright, we got four bee boxes going. We got all of our all of our grass, all of our sticks. We've got a cot bird. We've got rabbits popping up like they're candy. Mm, tasty rabbit candy and honey. <laughs> yeah, I have to say, I think we are doing pretty dang good. Top off our health and uh, and hunger with another honey hand here in a moment. Yeah, we gotta get this honey in our fridge. Keep it from spoiling. I'm hoping sometime soon we can go out and find another gear because I would definitely like to make uh, another fridge, because that thing tends to fill up relatively quickly. Alright, all of our stuff has been harvested, including our berries. Toss those in there. Okay, honey. You have no place to go. Um, heck, let's eat our berries. Harvest these guys again. Gosh, they just keep on coming. Oh, that one's dead. One more. I really wish those birds wouldn't make so much noise in their traps. <laughs> Heck, let's go ahead and just take him. I'll set up the bird trap. And I won't bait it this time around. And we'll just stick our bird in a box. Just like we do our rabbits. Alright. It's like, where the heck did our spear go? There it is. It's in our backpack. Um, let's run down here and... Sweet, it's already making honey. Let's pick up that stack of logs we dropped. Always needs the poops. Hey, back off. My farm. I don't think they actually damage the farms, but... You know, it never hurts. Okay, we still have honey ham in there. Let's go ahead and uh, prepare another one of these. Toss that. Actually, I think we can use jerky in place of morsels. Probably frog legs, too. But I don't know for certain. We will find out. Alright, let's go ahead and prepare for tomorrow. Um, we need <laughs> multiple pickaxes. Where are you? There you are. Die, 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 die. There we go. So I don't know that I've uh, explained it, but I think I discovered that if you push them all the way back out to the edge of the darkness... Go away. <laughs> out to the very edge of the darkness, um, they will actually go away. Like, go away, go away. Alright, pick that up. Toss it in. Keep these guys going. So yeah, it looks like... Our jerky does suffice as morsels. Let's get one more cooking. So anyway, come tomorrow, we're going to need more pickaxes than what we've got here. Um, yeah, I'll drop this stack off here. Um, yeah, we're going to head out in this direction, clear out some of this map area, and then pick up as many stone and as many gold as we can do. Similar to down here, it's likely to be a couple day trip, um, but I think we can manage. Um, yeah, morning of day 43, guys. Thank you very much for watching as always, and stay tuned till next time. Take it easy. Bye.